had some interesting moves in the Asian and European session today. So I'm going to have a look at a couple of interesting charts uh, as we come up to the open of the US session. First up, US dollar Chinese yuan. So you can see this um, very, very uh, hawkish fix by the People's Bank of China, um, the, the, the highest one on record. So that has strengthened the, the Chinese Yuan um, obviously been detrimental to the US dollar, and we can see that kind of playing over to the other currency pairs now. Cable, uh, pound US is looking pretty interesting. There was a good bounce off um, this very strong support, the 140, 124.50. Uh, we've reclaimed that very important 125 level on the pound. This is ahead of some um, very important job figures tomorrow as well, where probably will cement the hike or not hike at um, the Bank of England's next meeting later this month. Um, so I'd be one to watch whether we can hold that 125 level if they can act as support. We may see a bit more upside there. Aussie dollar um, has surged today, basically on the back of that Chinese yuan fixing. Um, also a little bit of risk on coming back into the market. And we've seen um, this very boring tight range for the last uh, couple of weeks. We end we popped through that today and another big level there, the 64 level has been very big support, uh, very big resistance. So to get above that in such a strong way, we'll be looking to see if this holds here for any kind of further upside. Next typical level that with the Aussie dollars, the, um, the the big figures are always big support resistance that we look at that 65 level. Dollar yen, um, there was some jawboning over the weekend from Governor Ueda of the Bank of Japan. Um, we see this quite large gap at the open this morning. Um, that's gapped down from the eight month highs that were setting late last week to go below that 147 level. We have seen it bounce back a bit. It did find support in this um, this trend line here. Uh, so this will be whether it can hold around this 146.63 is a major level where there's been a bit of support and resistance in the past. Um, Interesting to see if, if it does actually retrace the gap as well, which is quite often happens over weekend gaps. But um, certainly this level here, 146.63, will be the, the key one to watch and also this trend line support here.